All my generations are going to be blessed. All my family members are going to be saved. My nieces, my nephews, my aunties, my uncles, my crazy cousins, all of them coming to Jesus. Why? Because they're in my house. They're my house. And as for me, in my house, we, we're going to serve the Lord. Everybody in my house, everybody that's connected to me, everybody that has my DNA, everybody that has my name, everybody that's related to me is going to be saved. I'm not going to miss not one of them. They don't even know that God is coming in to my house. That's what he's telling us, our kids. I'm about to come in your house. Are y'all listening to me? So, if you know I'm coming in your house, and you know when I come in, now this is the raw thing about Jesus. When Jesus was walking this earth, right? He walked around with 12 men. Come here, Bobby. Come here, Jane. Come here, Jane. Come here. Come here, Israel, all the brothers. Come here. Come here, all the brothers. Now, this ain't 12. This ain't 12, right? All right? But this is how Jesus rode. So, are y'all listening to me? So I'm going to walk that way and y'all follow me. Ha <laughs> ha. Imagine six more. Look, at that. Look how this looked, though. Look how powerful this looked. What, what could we not do? <laughs> right now, us six with Francisco. Come on up here, Francisco. With Francisco up here, we can we can we can we can uh, we can subdue everybody in here. Mm -hmm. No, literally. No, we can subdue all of y'all. Look at Bobby. Come on. <laughs> no, no. Come on, Joe. Look at we can we can we can walk in and I can kick down the door and we can make everything in that house move. Yeah. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. And this is how Jesus rode. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. But he had twelve six more. Are, are y'all listening to me? Man! Grown man, big man. Are y'all listening to me? And this is how he rolled, brother. So when Jesus comes into your house, not only Jesus comes into your house, but grace comes into your house, mercy comes into your house, riches come into your house, love comes into your house, joy comes into your house, peace comes into your house, faithfulness comes into your house. I'm hitting you hard on purpose. Faithfulness comes into your house. You gotta be a man. You gotta take it. Are y'all listening to me? Yes, when Jesus comes in. Everybody comes in. Yeah. He had a crowd following him. Yep. Are y'all listening to me? Yes, the Bible says our kids couldn't see Jesus because of the crowds. Yeah. So you telling me when Jesus wins our kids, the whole crowd. Yeah. Ah. What are you about to do? So many people got in that person's house and they want to heal Jesus' pastor, they had to cut the roof open. Oh, they yeah. sure did. <laughs> Everything you're going after. The reason you're not getting it is because you're chasing after the money. You're chasing after the joy. You're chasing after the peace. You're chasing after all that. But you're not chasing after Jesus. Come on. Yeah. You give all that money. Uh, but, if, but if you chase after Jesus, yes. all that will come in. Yes. Seek ye first yes. the kingdom of God yes. and his righteousness yes. and all things oh, yes. shall be at. Are y'all listening to me, brothers and sisters? Yes, sir. All things. So he told me the to title this hospitality. Because he told me to tell you he's not coming to a place where he's not received joyfully. All right. Are y'all listening to me? He's not coming to a place where he's not received joyfully. Amen. If coming here is hard, if worshiping Jesus is a strain, right. Right. he right. said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. And into his courts with, with praise. praise. Be thankful unto him. Help me out, Bobby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And bless his name. Bless him. For the Lord is good. Yes, he is. His mercy is everlasting. Yes, is. And his truth endures to all generations. 
and worshiping Jesus is hard, he can't come in, brothers and sisters. If saying hallelujah is hard, he can't come in. He said, I need, I'm only coming to a house of people with hospitality. When I come in, make sure the house is clean. When I come in, have my food prepared. Lay out my cookies like you do Santa. Are y'all listening to me? Prepare for me. I'm important. I'm somebody. Yes, I'm coming. Yes, he is. Yes, yes, yes. I'm closing on this because my time is here. Mm -hmm. Usually when you coming over my house and I invited you and we finna cook and do all that, mm -hmm. we of course make sure the house is well clean and I have my door open. Mm -hmm. Right? So I can hear when your car pop pulls up. Everybody stand to your feet. God said this. He said, open your door. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. Glory. The day you hear my voice. Amen. Amen. He says, if you really want me to come in, open your door. Amen. Let down your guard. Let down your boundaries. I promise I'm everything you need. Amen. I promise I'll have everything you need. I know you've been hurt by so many people. He said, but I promise I won't hurt you. Amen. I'm writing a song called Dirty Secrets. Because everybody has them. But God told me in this song, tell my people that I know their dirty secrets. But I promise I won't expose them. If God would show you some of my dirty secrets, you wouldn't come here to hear me. Are y'all listening to me? He said, I promise, I promise I will not expose you. He says, I promise I will keep everything you did between me and you. He said, but just let me in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't hurt you. I won't let you down. I, I'm not saying that the road will be perfect and the road is going to be easy. He said, but I promise I will never leave you nor forsake you. If they throw you in the fire, he says, I am a God that I will get right down in the fire with you. I will not write you off. I will not act like I don't know you. Are you listening to me? If they ever ask me about you, I tell them that's my partner. That's my daughter. That's my son. He says, yes, yeah, but you got to open up. You got to open up your heart. You got to open up your spirit. He says, if you open up, I will come in. Everybody open your arms up. Hallelujah. Come into this house. Clean this house up. Come in. Yes, yes. Hey, yes, yes. Clean this house up. Yes. I'll admit, Lord, this house is not perfect. Yes. But it's great, but it's not perfect. Hey! It's great, but it's not perfect. Yes. It's great, but it's not perfect. You're great, but you're not perfect. Yes. Hey, you're great, but you're not perfect. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He already knows. He just wants to clean it up. Woo, he just told me, I'm such a good friend that I won't make you clean up the house and then bring me over. He said, but invite me in the house while I'm still dirty and I'll put my apron on with you. Yeah. I'll wash the dishes with yeah. you. Ah, Jesus. Ah, Jesus. Father God, we thank you, we praise you, and we honor you. And I pray, most of all, that your people will open up their hearts, they will open up their souls, they will open up their spirit, they will open up their mind. You just step back in. 
Sometimes life, Lord, can make us hard. It's so hurt. trying to make me not like people. I said, well, Lord, how can I function as a pastor if I don't like people? Well, this is all about people. But I got so hurt by people. I didn't understand how people could be so mean and so ugly when you've been nice. I didn't understand how you can feed them and how you can help pay their bills, how you can do all that and they just walk away from you. Are you listening to me, Pastor? Oh, yes. I, mean, I didn't understand that in the church. Amen. But how somebody can tell you you are a great man of God and the next day say, Pastor, I'm no longer a member. I can understand uh -huh. it. Amen. Because I'm a loyalist. Oh, yes. And if I say I'm with you, yes. I'm with yes. you. All right now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have that trait. Right. There was some that had it, and it scarred me. Some of my own family members, when I was hungry and homeless, didn't help me. Oh. And it started hardening up my heart. But the problem is, if I got bitterness and I got a hard heart, I can't let God in. And only if I'm not letting people in, but I'm not letting God in either. And God says, I need to turn that heart of stone to a heart of flesh. I need you to feel again. I need you to, whoo, I'm feeling good. I need you to feel again. I need you to be sensitive again. I need you to be sensitive how other people hurt. I need you to be sensitive to other people's pain. I need you to be sensitive you remember you used to cry for somebody else? Do you remember that you can hear somebody else's problem? And it will make tears water up in your eyes, but life has made you so hard you can hear about a million people dying, and you say, what's for them? But I need, I, I need you to be sensitive. never look down on nobody else. Because we understand we can be that person. Let us love everybody. Let us be willing to help everybody. And let us not do it with a hidden agenda. Whether they help us back, it don't even matter. Whether they give it back to us, it don't even matter. Because I didn't do it for nothing but love. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you give us all the gift of servitude and hospitality. We ask all this in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Give the Lord a mighty.